<clears throat> I'm laying here waiting for Mac. It's a little after 9 a.m. I went out hard last night for an epic party. It was wonderful. Uh, it's already quite warm. There's direct sunlight on the beehive, and it's very active. This is going to be crazy. There's so many bees. I can just tell by the entrance and exit. So I'm excited to see um, where the hive is in the house and the best way to get to it, to remove it. And there's going to be a ton of bees everywhere. So I'm just taking a moment to relax and uh, be calm before all the chaos starts. Let's go. Bees! Okay, so we've cut a hole into the ceiling of the drywall. We found the exposed comb and bees. We've already removed two rows of comb. Uh, now we're getting into the heart. Uh, there seems to be about five or six rows, so I'm going to cut this one out here and hand it to Mac. <laughs> and since this is new comb, it's very fragile. It's, it's all white and this is full of honey the here. Same way. Yeah. Let's set it right on there. I think I can fit it in these rubber bands. So, it's very fragile since this is only a five day old uh, comb. The top of that's full of honey, so it's Maybe really take heavy. take it out in the light, I can get a better shot of it. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come help you with that, man. Okay. There's only about one more left. It's dripping on the yeah, ground. Yeah, it's uh, wow. thick honey. Do you want to lift the other one up? Or? Well, I want to first try to get this, uh... Okay. It's in here. I can manage it. God, this is so fragile. Wow. Okay. Mike, I think you're destined to be a bee. Yeah, I think so, man. You're, you're more <laughs> brave than most people. They seem to be more in tune with what they're, they've been doing there instead of where they're at. Here, There's eggs under, in that one. You gotta get under the edge here. I'm not really helping you very much here with what I'm doing. I'm afraid to drop this lid down. Okay. Okay. Well, let's, let's uh, set her up in here. Well, we can fit another comb row in here. Like we can fit the next one. Okay, right but here. we should probably just yeah, set, set it in. Right. So I'm going to shake these ones in. You want to shake that? Yeah. And we're going to shake these bees right here inside the hive. Good. You like honey, Mike? Yeah. Hey, go ahead and get some of that right there, man. That's, that's fresh stuff. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Oh man, that's good. Tastes like honey? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It doesn't get any better than that. Wow, that is good. It's more liquid than what yeah. the stores have too. Okay. These frames right here, now think about the size of a grain of rice. An egg is a fourth the size of a grain of rice. In the very center of, especially these ones here, there's an egg from the queen. At the uh, bottom? Yeah, they're, the the ver they're very center, right in the very dead center of the, of the comb and the cells. Now they're in these ones here particularly. It uh, they're eggs. Those are those are less than three days old. Okay. And any of those can be turned into a queen if they're fed exclusively royal jelly. Uh, and you can you know there's some beekeeping secrets that you can do to help start new hives that way. But it's good. So there's a queen and she's laying. So we've removed some comb rows, uh, maybe five or six of them here. And there's this board uh, that we're gonna remove with the sawzall to get more access to the bees behind this board. Here we go. Oh, it's heavy. 
heavy, man. So it might have comb on the outside. Should I stop filming? No, keep going. Okay. Let's take a look. Okay, so we have removed all of the comb rows. Let me hit a flashlight up in here. All the comb rows, we're left with just a bunch of bees. I think the queen might still be in there, but we're gonna just back them. Uh, I was trying to go through them with my hand a little bit to see, but I mean, it's just relentless. So, here we go. Take a look. Wow, you can hear them. Yeah, that's a ton of bees. <laughs> Man, that's, that's heavy. <laughs> yeah, let's get some space in the hive and dump them in. Wow. A bunch of bees. Oh my. <laughs> It's like Christmas. Alright. That was a ton of bees. We're back this evening, it's 9.30, the sun's going down. We did a temporary seal on the hole that we cut. Yes, notice it's no drift zone, drift watch sign. Uh, so bees can't get in. We're using this here to block up the entrance of the bees that have been coming in. Um, here's the hive. Staying in pretty well. Let's see if we can get them off the edges here. Eric, close it, man. Close it. Close it up? Yeah. You're pinging me. Yep. Packed full of bees. You're a brave man. <laughs> 